फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकेंड डिग्री इन टू डायमेंशन वी नो इट इज जनरल फॉर्म इच ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू इच एक्स वाई प्लस बी वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू जी एक्स प्लस टू एफ वाई प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो दिस वन रिप्रेजेंट आइदर ए कॉनिक और ए पेयर ऑफ स्टेट लाइन दिस विल डिपेंड ऑन द क्वांटिटीज द कॉन्स्टेंट क्वांटिटीज ए बी सी एफ जी एच टू फाइंड द नेचर ऑफ द कॉनिक वेदर इट इज ए स्टेट लाइन और पेयर ऑफ स्टेट लाइन वी फाइंड दिस मैट्रिक्स फर्स्ट ए वी कॉल दिस मैट्रिक्स ए एच जी एच बी एफ जी एफ सी फॉर मी विद द क्विफिशियंट ए बी सी एफ जी एच एंड दिस इज ए सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स ए एच जी एच बी एफ जी एफ सी इज डिटर्मिनेंट इज डेल्टा ए एच जी एच बी एफ जी एफ सी एंड इज वैल्यू इज ए बी सी प्लस टू एफ जी एच माइनस एफ स्क्वायर माइनस बी जी स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर वी ऑल्सो फाइंड एन अदर डिटर्मिनेंट टू क्रॉस टू डिटर्मिनेंट ए एच जी एच बी एफ यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द कोफिशियंट इन्वॉल्व विद द सेकेंड डिग्री टर्म्स ए एच एंड बी ए बी एच सो इट वैल्यू इज ए बी माइनस एच स्क्वायर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू अंडरस्टैंड द नेचर ऑफ द कॉनिक वी क्लासिफाई इन टू सेगमेंट्स बाई फाइंडिंग बाई फाइंडिंग द रैंक ऑफ ए by finding the rank of e okay the rank of the matrix a the rank of the matrix a will be 3 or it will be 2 or it will be 1 it will be 1 when it will be rank 3 when it will be rank 3 whenever is determinant is not equal to 0 now rank 2 and 1 whenever is determinant equal to 0 is determinant equal to equal to zero accordingly we first of all classify into two broad segment we call this as non singular conic non singular conic and we call this as singular singular conic we call this as non singular conic and we call this as singular conic let's understand the first classification as the as singular conic singular conic okay we have delta not equal to 0 we have delta not equal to 0 then we call the conic is singular conic singular conic singular conic in this singular conic it will be what it will be central either it is central conic or it will be non central conic non central conic why it will be central conic it will be central conic whenever d not equal to 0 d involving the second degree term second degree term and for non central conic we must have d equal to 0 what are the central conic central conics are ellipse ellipse and hyperbola ellipse and hyperbola and the, what are the non central conic the non central conic is parabola is parabola we call this one is non singular conic we call this as first of all we designate this as suppose we call this as ns cc it is cc that is non non singular central conic and we call this as non singular non central conic nc we suppose designate this as ns cc ns nc for the for the non central conic now we are coming to the category that is for the singular conic we are coming to the only for the key for the singular singular conic and this is for delta equal to 
and this is again classified whenever rank is a equal to 2 whenever rank of a is equal to equal to 1 whenever rank of a is equal to 1 whenever rank of a is equal to 2 2 we we find this as not 2 intersecting intersecting pair of straight line intersecting pair of straight lines we we delimate this as suppose we call this as key this as sp si and we obtain we obtain we obtain as key as parallel pair of straight line parallel pair of pair of straight lines we call this as SPSI. Suppose we abbreviate SPSP SPPI. 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 Now we concentrate on the rank 2 of the matrix A. The two uh, intersecting pair of straight line we get whenever delta e, whenever D equal D not equal to 0. D not equal to 0. So, if d not equal to 0, this means that the second degree terms, the, the minor to second degree terms is not equal to 0, means we somehow get the central point. Somehow get the central point. We are calling this central point as intersection points. We call this as intersection points. And we abbreviate this category suppose SPSI. Remember SPSI. In this case, parallel straight line will be getting whenever d, whenever d equal to 0. d equal to 0. This means that the minor, if you remember the matrix, if you remember the matrix A, A, G, A, B, F, G, F, C. So this is the minor with the second degree terms and this is equal to 0. See the rank of the matrix is 2, you can find another minor which is not equal to 0. But Rank is 2, rank is 2. We get the parallel pair of straight lines whenever we d equal to 0. This means that in this case, that we get the parallel straight lines and the parallel straight lines will meet at infinity. We meet at infinity under the condition a b minus e square equal to 0. So, this is the classification. And whenever rank is 1, this means that the, the, the all the second order minors of the matrix A will be key, will be will be zero, will be zero. This means that the three rows of the matrix are not independent. In fact, only one, only one independent row will be getting to get the rank of the matrix. So what we get in this case? In this case, we'll get we'll get we'll get pair of pair of coincident lines coincident coincident lines let us designate this as sp sp sc sp sc let us designate this as sp sc that is singular uh, uh, singular s for singular uh, s for singular ps for pair of straight lines c for coincident so whenever we reduce the equation general equation of second degree in its standard form or in its canonical form, we have to discuss these five cases. We have to discuss these five cases. So we can we can uh, designate we can write uh, all these things in a flow chart. In a flow chart, I can draw this flow chart like this. So this is what this is. First of all. We can find out, we can we have the values A, B, C, F, G, H. We can find the matrix capital A. We can find delta. We can find D as defined over there. Then we have the two broad classification. One for rank of A equal to 3. We call this as, we call this as non-singular car. We call this as non-singular curve. We call this a non-singular curve. Whenever and another category is what rank of uh, 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 rank of a equal to three and rank of rank of a is less than three. Less than three. 
and rank of A is less than 3 again classified as rank of A is equal to 2 rank of A is equal to B equal to 1 whenever rank of A is equal to 1 we get this one we get this one we get this one what is the condition for that this is delta not equal to 0 in this case delta equal to 0 here rank is less than 2 we get we get uh, we get a, a point over here and now we we can write down we can write down for the non singular categories we classified again in two parts we classified again two parts for d not equal to 0 and we get for d equal to d equal to 0 and we call this as non central non -cent sorry this is central conic central conic central conic and this is we have non central conic non central conic non and in this case we can find the center alpha beta we can find center alpha beta and and we designate as nscc suppose we call it as nscc and for central conic this is parabola this is parabola and we call this as ns non singular non singular non center non singular non center we will be using this abbreviation after that for certain uh, 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 certain other things whenever rank 2 equal to this we get pair of straight line we get pair of straight lines and this has been classified in two categories again in this case when d not equal to 0 and q when d equal to 0 Whenever d not equal to 0, we, find, we can find out the center, that is the point of line of intersection, that is we get the pair of straight line, pair of straight lines, pair of straight lines, uh, 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 intersect, pair of straight line intersecting, pair of straight line intersecting, and whenever d equal to 0, we get pair of parallel lines, pair of parallel lines. So we, we, we designate pair of this is what AS we call it as APS pair of straight lines singular pair of straight lines intersecting and we call this as singular pair of straight line pair of straight line parallel we call this as pair of straight line parallel and whenever rank A equal to 1 we call it as we, we can find pair of pair of coincident 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 lines coincident lines this we call this as we call this as suppose singular pair of straight line and coincident lines coincident lines whenever rank equal to 1 you know rank equal to 1 means if we write a again a b a h a a g h b f g f c all second order minus all second order minors of A will be equal to Q, will be equal to 0. So ultimately, what we got under this under this category, we got 5 categories, we, we got 5 categories, we call one NSCC, second one, we got NSNC, we got third one, SPSI, we got fourth one, SP, SP, and we got fifth category as key SP SC. NSCC means non singular central conic. NSNC means non singular non central conic. SP SI means singular pair of straight line intersecting. Singular pair of straight line parallel. Singular pair of straight line coincident. So these are the five broad classifications we obtained. Whenever a general equation of second degree equation is given, it is in its general form a square plus 2xy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2a5 plus c equal to 0. So we conclude this classification. In the next video, we will discuss how to obtain the canonical form under this under these five categories: NSCC, NSNC. SPSI, SPSI, 
the SPSP and SPSC. So I think friends you enjoyed this video and this video makes you a clear idea about the general equation of second degree in two dimension. Okay. And I request all of you to subscribe my channel and and circulate this video among your friends so that one can understand or one can classify general equation of second degree in two dimension very clearly under these five broad categories. Thank you very much.